you guys and welcome to a new vlog. Wow, I have a morning voice. It is Saturday morning and it's 8 a.m. And I'm up bright and early because I'm getting to Target. I've got some stuff to buy and then I want to try the two new drinks from Starbucks. Yes, I'm a week late, but I really want to try them. So I figured I would do that this morning. And it's a beautiful day, y'all. It's gonna be like 73 degrees today. I'm here for it. I'm gonna put in one of my Bath & Body Works car scents because I bought some summer ones already. I'm gonna do the Endless Weekend. Gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And I do have breakfast to go this morning because I wanted to get to Target before it gets like too busy. So I'm trying to leave early. But I have my too good blueberry Greek yogurt. And we're off to have a good morning. Okay, we're back in the car, which means it's time for a Target haul before we get Starbucks. This haul is very random. Also, I feel like, I don't know, I love sharing like what I bought and where I got it from and stuff, but I feel like some people are like, why would you share what you got? It reminds me of like when I was a kid and I would go to the store with my mom, like the mall or whatever, and get clothes. As soon as I would get home, I'd be like, dad, you have to see everything I bought. And I would literally like try everything on to show my dad what I got. Like, does anyone else relate to that? <laughs> because I feel like this is the same concept. Like, look what I got at the grocery store. Like, I don't know, I think it's so fun. Anyways, let's get started. First, we got some napkins and some Q-tips. Literally just like a restock of stuff that we needed. I got some Listerine. This is actually a new one I haven't seen. It's the natural, so I don't really know what's different about it, but if it says natural on it, I'm more prone to buy it. And then some Cascade Rinse Aid for the dishwasher. Okay, in the second bag, we have some Batiste Dry Shampoo. I tried it for the first time a couple weeks ago and I just bought like the mini bottle from Smith's cause I like saw it and just picked it up to try it out and I loved it, but I went through it so fast. So I picked me up a big boy bottle. I bought Zachary a Bang. Every time I see a flavor he hasn't had, I like to like buy it for him and surprise him. So I got the lemon drop one. In the sunscreen category, I got this like daily facial one. It's the oil-free moisture broad spectrum SPF 15 from Neutrogena. This was a recommendation that I got on Instagram. I really need to start wearing a daily sunscreen. I spend a lot of time outside, especially working out outside and especially with the weather getting warm, I need to like protect my skin. So with that, I also got this copper tone pure and simple sunscreen. It's SPF 50, I believe. And I don't know, like I said, it's like pure and simple. That gets me, it's like a naturals thing. So I'm gonna try this out. I got some limes because we forgot to get them at the grocery store last night. Then, this was not on my list, but I got it, my bad. A candle, and I've never tried this brand of candle before. It's the Threshold brand, and the scent is Ashwood and Palo Santo. It smells so good. It's giving me all of the like spring freshness vibes, if you could say. I've recently become obsessed with anything that smells like Palo Santo. I think I'm saying that wrong for some reason. I don't know. But that scent is just so like calming i just love it so i'm gonna try this candle out and it was only five dollars like this is this is a good deal if it burns well like that's a really really good deal for a candle okay now that that's over with it is time it is time to go try out the new starbucks drinks i made sure i didn't have coffee this morning oops so that i could try these and especially because they're shaken espressos they're gonna be like caffeine high whoa the vibes are good hi um can i get one of each of the new shaken espresso drinks what size the just tall you got it what else can i get for you that'll be it Already Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I went with talls for both because if they end up both being good, I'll probably drink both, and I don't need to be on like 12 shots of espresso. I would probably have a heart attack. Oh my god, I thought I lost my card because I put it in the wrong slot. So I finished my first week of my new job. Of course, it was just training, but I think it's gonna be good. I'm liking it so far. Very different from the last at-home call center job I did. After week one there, I was already so anxious and nervous and like hating it, and then two days later, I quit. So this is not that. I'm still a little bit nervous, obviously, because like a new job and it's, it's still a call center and it's gonna be quick, fast pace on the phone and stuff, but I think it's gonna be very different. More so because the last job was a law firm and so every single person that called was because they like had an issue, like it was a bad thing. 
but my position now is actually more sales but yeah it's more like sales based so i will be calling out um so it's not like people will be like upset already or something they might just get irritated that i'm calling but like i'd rather deal with that than like people just upset and had a car accident or are trying to sue somebody or whatever if that makes sense hi, how are you? hi good how are you Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Have one. A you too. Okay, we're gonna find somewhere to park and try these with this good car lighting. Okay, I think that's good. It's a little bit dark, but okay, I'm super excited. I need to take pictures of them for Instagram. This is the chocolate almond shaken espresso one, and then this is the this one does not look as good. Brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. I would choose this one any day based on looks. <laughs> but I gotta get pictures of them. Portrait mode. Let's get serious. Okay. Whew, okay, I'm excited to try these out. I'm gonna try the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso first these are made with blonde espresso from what i've heard so it's supposed to taste less like espresso but be, be more caffeinated and also these are both talls i feel like these are a perfect amount for like espresso so people who get ventis are a little whack not good first impression not good all i tasted was oat milk with like a hint of espresso flavor i think this is like the flavoring at the bottom but like i can't get to it it's just sitting on the bottom i don't know weird maybe we'll come back to it if i can like mix it with a i have a spoon in my car maybe we'll mix it okay this one chocolate almond shaken espresso again with blonde espresso so this one's made with almond milk and this one looks delicious mm. i'm not really a fan of that either the chocolate taste is good it feels like a dark chocolate almost which i love but it still just tastes funky. Maybe I'm just not an espresso gal. I've actually never had espresso before besides like inside of a chai or whatever, so you don't really taste it. But for this to be straight espresso and milk, I don't think I'm a fan and I'm upset because I thought these were gonna be so good. Okay, we're gonna mix them with my spoon. This is fun, this is like a mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. I don't know, you know what I mean. I watch Steph Pappas a lot. She's like the only mukbanger I actually watch. And she always does it like in her car. So I feel like I'm channeling my inner stuff Pappas right now. Okay, now that it's shaken up, let's see. This is the brown sugar one. Ooh, okay. Actually good now. So that's the thing. The flavoring was at the bottom. It's very good now. It actually has like that sweet taste. Before it was not sweet at all. It was just milk and espresso and that's not fun. So we're gonna mix this one now. All right, let's see. Mmm, wow. Still very bitter. I think the chocolate syrup is like a dark chocolate, so it's not sweet. So there's nothing like sweetening this drink at all. It's just espresso dark chocolate and almond milk and almond milk is also not sweet on its own whereas i feel like oat milk has like a sweetness to it kind of naturally yeah i'm not really a fan of that it really just tastes like espresso with dark chocolate out of these two i'm gonna say that the brown sugar oat milk one is the winner if you mix it up if you don't mix it gross now i need to go home and eat some real food other than a yogurt or my stomach is going to be upset off of this espresso i'm gonna have zachary try the chocolate one and if he likes it he can have it otherwise i'll be sticking it in the fridge and forcing myself to drink it 
tomorrow so it doesn't go to waste. It was $10 for both of them. Hi you guys, good morning again. It is a whole new day, it's Sunday. Yesterday we spent most of the day cleaning and then worked out so I didn't really vlog anything for you because I thought that would be like boring. We just had the best breakfast. We made these homemade breakfast pockets they're called in the air fryer and I'll put pictures of it because it was so good. I shared it on my Instagram too. Sorry, my hair looks like weird right now. I went to, I washed it last night and then went to sleep with it like damp and it just looks like funny because I haven't even brushed it this morning. But we made those breakfast pockets and they were so good and we just cleaned up the kitchen. We cleaned the whole downstairs yesterday because it had been too long that I'd like to admit and we're gonna do the upstairs today which is usually faster so that's good. I just made me a big huge water. I got this new Yeti cup from my new job actually. The name of the company is printed on the other side of the cup so i'm not gonna show you that because i just want to keep that information private but they send us a free gift every month like mailed straight to your house for like appreciation or whatever employee appreciation which is so cool and these big old yetis cost like 50 dollars or something like i feel appreciated anyways the sunday vibes are good i'm gonna turn on some country music I have my new candle going that we bought at Target yesterday that I showed you guys in the haul. It smells really good, but I don't think it's very strong when it's burning. And then I went to Smith's this morning because we needed another Greek yogurt. And I got some new flowers. Our pink ones were kind of dead, so I bought some white ones. And then I also turned on our oil diffuser because that just felt like a good vibe too. And this is the peppermint that I have diffusing right now. I always use peppermint or pine. Okay guys, listen up. I'm gonna tell you a secret and you can't bash me for it. Okay, so everyone knows the show The Bachelor and The Bachelor, right? I had always seen people like posting about it. Oh my God, it's Bachelor Monday, like stuff like that. And I just never gotten into it. I never watched a season, an episode, nothing. I just like never watched it because I thought it was only available on like live TV, which I don't have. So I never got into it. Well, yesterday I was scrolling through Netflix and it popped up on there and, uh, as I recommended. And I was like, wait a minute. I could kind of vibe with that if it's on Netflix, like I'll watch it. So I clicked on it. It only has season six, which I have no idea how many seasons there are. So it's season six of The Bachelorette and I started watching it last night and I actually am so into it. Like this is my kind of reality TV, I guess, like game show TV, whatever you call it. I'm like so invested in it. I really like it. So I'm about to sit down and watch it right now in bed with my snack. That I showed you guys my vanilla Greek yogurt, my chocolate granola, and cinnamon. It literally tastes like an Oreo. It's so good, and the macros are pretty good too. Which reminds me, I need to give you guys an update on my current health status and health journey because I think you guys know that I'm trying to kind of like lose weight a little bit and just get toned and get in shape. Summer's coming, summer bod vibes. So basically, I have not really counted calories and macros much because I tried to do it a while back. It stressed me out. I was like so focused on numbers and stuff that 
like that's kind of all I thought about was like the next meal and the next snack and how much it was going to be worth and all of that stuff and it was very stressful to me but I quit doing that and then I only just focused on like eating when I was hungry um focusing on eating like more whole foods eating more greens staying away from gluten dairy like you know just like typical stuff without counting anything and I had been doing that for the last two weeks while also doing 75 hard so working out every single day twice a day like you know like just being so active and i thought i was doing so good but again i wasn't counting my food i was just eating intuitively i guess just eating healthy in the first two weeks like i had not lost any weight i had actually gained weight in the first week and then the second week i was back down to my starting weight i was like what the heck is going on so i had seen a bunch of tiktoks recently about people being in like calorie deficits and counting calories and counting macros and all that kind of stuff so i was like okay i'll look into it again and like see maybe if it's different for me now like see what i can handle now so i used like a um calorie nutrition counter to like figure out how many calories you should be eating a day whether you want to be in a surplus or a deficit for like your goals if you're bulking if you're cutting and then it also takes in like your activity level your age your height all of that stuff so i did a calculation turns out i have been eating way too few calories so i kind of did like a test run one day and ate intuitively how i would normally and counted the calories for that day and I was like 700 calories under what I should be eating to even be in a deficit. Basically, I wasn't eating enough, so my body was just hanging on to everything that I ate because I was like not feeding it the proper fuel. So in the past four days, I've started eating much more calories. I have been tracking my calories. I've lost two pounds now, so I just think that's like really important. I don't think a lot of people know that specifically females like we just think eat healthy and don't eat too much and you'll be fine but I was eating like so little that it was actually hurting my body versus helping I went from eating like 1100 calories a day to now I'm eating 1860 around there and I do track it in my fitness pal but I do not yet count macros so counting your macros is like a whole different thing you do take into account your calories but you're also individually counting fat protein and carb that stresses me out so what i plan on doing is still counting calories for a while maybe like two more months and just see where that takes me and then if i feel comfortable or feel like i need to go further into actual macro counting then i will test that out again but like i said the last time i tried that it was just so overwhelming and i just kind of gave up after like a week because it was just so much to keep track of psa eat your food use a calculator to see like if you're even eating enough whatever the case may be it'll tell you like how many calories to eat to maintain your current weight how many to eat if you're trying to lose weight and how many to eat if you're trying to gain weight and i think it's like really helpful so the calculator that i used i'll link down below you obviously don't have to use that one i just found it really helpful it was the best one that i thought i used i used like three different ones and that one gave the best information in my opinion so yeah i need to eat 1860 calories a day to lose weight and to maintain my current weight like 2300 so that was just really eye-opening to me anyways the lighting here is like so good i'm in my bedroom obviously and i'm so excited because i remember this time last year was obviously when the pandemic started but I remember at the beginning of the pandemic, every single night, I would go out onto my back balcony right here and I would watch the sunset. And so I have the windows open and or the curtains open and I'm waiting for the sun to set and hopefully see like a pretty sunset. And it's giving me all the good vibes. Like it's so weird how I feel like the everything that happened at the beginning of the pandemic is like coming full circle now like people are bringing back old tiktok sounds it's just like bringing back so many memories of like what we were doing this time last year because it was so different than any other typical year so i think it's cool to like see you know like to bring it back and reminisce on it but yeah i remember every single night i would sit out here and i would turn on surfaces the surfaces playlist on my phone and just vibe out until the sun went down and some nights would be colder so i'd put a jacket on and other nights would be perfect oh my gosh it was the best vibe i can't wait for it to be a little bit warmer for pretty sunsets every night and the time is changing soon so that'll be even better yeah i don't know i just felt chatty and i had to update you guys on that stuff so anyways i'm gonna start the bachelorette 
tomorrow's Monday. I go back to work for my second week of work. I'm not doing anything else tonight besides cooking dinner and watching TV. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.